guys, this is Melissa, and this is my 25th week of my first pregnancy after miscarriage. Um, this week has been really exciting in our own personal lives. If you've been following my blogs, you've been listening to me talk about going um, to America at the moment. We are in England. My husband is English, and we are going to fly over to America in January. We have finally bought our tickets um, just Saturday. Um, we bought our tickets and we fly out the 23rd of January, which is in, oh, excuse me, oh, oh which is in, um, like 19 days or 18 days. So we are doing, if you can tell behind me, there's a lot of stuff going on. It's, um, we're in the thick of it as far as packing and stuff goes. Um, but we're really, really excited to be on our way with our tickets bought and everything. Um. I finished work yesterday, which is such a, an amazing blessing because um, I, I was having so much trouble walking to work every day because of my back and hips and stuff, and now I've finished. And um, plus, I didn't really like my job. And so right now, I'm technically on holiday. I put all my holiday hours in first. Oh, excuse me. And I'm not on maternity for another week. The reason I'm tired is because we have been packing. And, and into the wee hours in the morning, we've been packing, and then I've been going to work and stuff. But now I'm finished, and so soon I'll be very rested. Um, this Saturday, I have a um, midwife appointment, my last midwife appointment while in England. Um, it will be my 25th week appointment, and I don't know if they've told me this, but I think it's probably the, um, what's it called, that test? glucose tolerance test or something where they find out if you have um, gestational diabetes um, but they've not told me if that's what's going on if that is what's going on I'm really I'm meant to fast that day I believe and then they give me like a Gatorade a sugary drink and see how I metabolize that oh my goodness I should have done this blog when I wasn't so tired but when is that really <laughs> if I don't do it now I won't get it done so um that's this mid. That's this Saturday, um, and then I don't really do anything until I get to America. And hopefully they'll do a whole full body checkup on me once I get to America. I'd love to have an, another ultrasound there. And we still don't know the gender. Um, I will tell you the names that I, I like so far because I have a feeling it's going to be a long time before I post this blog. And um, excuse me. And I don't really care what anyone's opinion is. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. I don't really care what anyone's opinion is because I know that everyone um, has an opportunity to name their children. And um, you should have that name mean something to you. And the names that we are kind of dabbling with right now for a little boy, we're looking at the name Micaiah Arthur Fairweather. Micaiah is another way of saying Micah, which is a minor prophet in the Bible. And I really love that name, Micaiah. It's a great, you can shorten it down to Micah or just Kai. Kai Arthur sounds really nice. Or Kai Fairweather sounds really nice. So that's for a little boy. I really love that name, Micaiah. Um, for a little girl, I've gone a little bit more wild. Um, originally, I like the name Beautiful Daisy Fairweather. And we would just call her Daisy Fairweather. And um, now I'm starting to fall in love with the name Beautiful Sunshine Daisy Fairweather. Still calling her um, Daisy unless she wants to later on go by Beautiful or go by Sunshine or whatever. Um, you can also shorten that to um, Bo, as in Bo Daisy, um, Bo Daisy Fairweather. And um, the reason I really love the girl's name, Beautiful, is because um, women are so often plagued with um, self-worth and self-image issues and um, I want our little girl to know from the very beginning that she's beautiful and she's made in God's image and I've had so many people criticize this on the uh, baby center forum saying that that is just setting your child up to be spoiled and stuff and and your kids gonna get made fun of and I feel like yeah my kid will get made fun of either for their name or maybe for their height or for their freckles or for their glasses or whatever you're gonna get made fun of for something so if you're gonna get made fun of for something a name is hardly the worst thing you can get made fun of for, especially if you go by Daisy. Daisy is a gorgeous name. So, um, Beautiful Sunshine Daisy Fairweather is, is the name that I'm on at the moment. 
um, that's um, that's that's go moving on from a much more ridiculous name. So if you don't like that name, you should have saw the other names that I had picked out before. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, we're really in transition right now. I'm not working. We're moving house. I'm going to America. I'm going to see my family. I haven't seen them in two years. Um, we're saying goodbye to friends and family here, which is really really sad. But at the same time, I'm just I'm so excited to get home that. It hasn't hit me yet that I'm actually leaving home in a way. Oh, oof. I don't even apologize because actually most of my vlogs I am yawning or stifling yawn. So whatever. Um, I want to show you my, my belly bump. 25 week belly bump. Um, the pain I've been getting and when I walk is very much down here. Um lower abdominal pain um so it's difficult for me to walk very far so far no stretch marks um belly's not popped yet it looks kind of flat in some ways you might be able to see how it looks a bit flat there um i haven't done a, a weight or a measurement in a long time i i'm thinking i'm probably going to be about 140 that's what i'm thinking maybe 142 but I might be surprised. I might be like 146 or something or maybe 150. But um, yeah, nothing else to catch you up on. One week from now we'll have our going away party and I'll let you know how that goes. So thank you for um, following me and I'll speak to you in a week. Mm. Bye.